In this video, we will learn how to use front-end events to change a widget on the instant search page. More precisely, we are going to update the color filter so that colors are sorted alphabetically instead of being sorted by descending number of products. By knowing how to work with front-end events, you will be able to modify the behavior of the autocomplete menu or the instant search page. All the code used here can be found in the video description. When programming in Magento, it's not recommended to write code directly in the original files because all the modifications will be lost during an update. Instead, we should use Custom Algolia. It's a Magento extension that was specifically made to easily edit the Algolia extension. Here's how to install it. Open a terminal and move to your Magento directory. Type this to install the extension with Composer and this to set it up. Now, if we navigate to Magento, Vendor, Algolia, we see the two extensions, Algolia and Custom Algolia. To change how the color facets are displayed, we need to modify the filtering widget before it gets added to the page. That can be achieved by editing one of the JavaScript hooks that is in Custom Algolia, View, Front End, web, hooks.js. These are all the hooks available for both the autocomplete menu and the instant search page. Each of them let us manipulate different settings. To learn more about their usage, you should read the documentation. The link is in the video description. In our case, we will use the before widget initialization hook. It lets us add, update, or delete widgets on the instant search page just before the widgets are initialized. This function has one parameter that is really important since it contains the configuration of all widgets displayed on the page. We will modify this function in three steps. The first step is to find the color widget that is somewhere in this parameter. We start by extracting all the refinement widgets like this. Then we filter the array to only keep the color widget. Now, color widget contains an object that looks like this. To learn more about how each of these properties work, we recommend reading the Algolia instant search documentation. The link is in the video description. The second step is to change how colors are sorted. For that, we edit the sort by property of the widget. If we want a custom ordering, we can set it as a function. Or, in this case, we simply set it this way to directly sort the names alphabetically. We should wrap that code inside a if in case we didn't find the color widget previously. The third step is to return the updated parameter so we keep the return at the end of the function and we have finished writing the JavaScript. Next, we have to tell Magento to load the file containing our hook. This requires to edit a configuration that is in Custom Algolia, View, Front End, Layout, Algolia Search Handle.xml. In the head, uncomment the first line of code. It's a script tag that points to our file. The last step is to clear the Magento cache by opening the admin, then going to System Cache Management and clicking on the Flush Magento Cache button. Now, when we check our store, the colors are displayed in alphabetical order as planned. In this video, we've coded a small tweak to the color widget in order to learn how front-end events work. Performing much more complex and interesting modifications can be achieved by following the same steps. In the next video, we will see how to use backend events to change the way products are indexed in Algolia.